how to find function from its derivative now here is a very interesting question it says derivative f dash x of a function is shown in the graph below determine a possible function f of x where f0 equals to 2 so this is the graph of a derivative f dash x now let's assume that you know all the rules of derivatives that means you know the power rule product rule quotient rule chain rule and at the end of the chapter you have this question so that means you have not done integration and all correct so so use the knowledge which you've learned to find derivatives of a function to solve this question so I'd like you to pause the video solve the question and then look into my suggestions so here we have derivative of the function which is a straight line so as you know straight line that means the function should be quadratic right so in general the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c so we could start from there another thing which you notice here is that the derivative is 0 at 4 that means there is a turning point at 4 correct so so the vertex lies at x equals to 4 that is one more thing which we observe from this graph and also before 4 the derivative is positive that means going up and at 4 it is 0 and then negative thereafter so as you can see here it could be visualized like a maximum at 4 since the derivative is positive before 4 that means kind of going up right and derivative is negative thereafter right so that means there has to be a maximum at 4 so we are looking for a parabola which has a vertex on x equals to 4 so I'm just making a rough sketch here kind of like this do you see that right it's definitely not to the scale but just showing the shape so what I'm trying to say here is if you look at the derivative it is positive till 4 and negative thereafter at 4 it is 0 so that serves our purpose right so parabola is kind of upside down that means concave down so derivative is 0 here positive on this side and negative on this side correct so that kind of a curve is what we are looking for correct so what we can do is we can write down a tentative equation of this so equation could be vertex at 4 so we'll we can write this as f of x equals to a times x minus 4 square plus b so that could be a general equation which should represent the function whose derivative is given here right so let's start from here now what is the derivative of this function f dash x will be equals to 2 times a x minus 4 and derivative of x is 1 so you may or may not but let me put 1 here and this one is 0 so let me put 0 there okay so that is the derivative f dash x now we are already given derivative as a line can you find equation of this line yes we can what is the slope of this line the slope of this line is y2 minus y1 that means it goes down by two units right so the slope we can write equation of line as slope m is equals to 2 down that means minus 2 and the x value is 1 2 3 4 4 right that means slope is minus half and also we know y intercept is 2 correct for the derivative so y intercept is 2 that means the point is 0 and 2 knowing slope and y intercept we can always write down the equation of the line in terms of slope and intercept form that is y equals to mx which is minus half x plus b which is 2 right so that is the slope of the line now we know slope of the line and we have the derivative now these two things should be same for our function to be the function whose derivative is shown here right so what we will do is we will rewrite this equation and then compare the coefficients correct so when we rewrite let me rewrite in a different ink and then we'll compare them so f dash x is equals to let me expand this part which is 2 a x minus 8 a right so that is what we get now if you compare them 
if you compare them, they have to be same, right? This is derivative. So this line which we are saying y is actually f dash x, right? So they should be same. So if you compare them, we get 8, 2 equals to minus 8a. So you can, from here, we can compare these two things, for example. And what do you get? You get minus 8a should be equal to 2, correct? That means a equals to 2 divided by minus 8, right? So 2 divided by minus 8 will give me minus 1 over 4. So that is the value of a for us, correct? You could also use this part, right? 2a equals to minus half. You can compare these two also. Let's compare them and see whether we get the same thing or not, right? Let's compare these also. So if you compare that part, you also get the same thing, that is minus half equals to 2a, right? So from here, what is a equals to? a equals to minus 1 over 4. So we get the same thing, right? So now we get our function, and the function for us is f of x equals to a value is minus 1 over 4, correct? So let me write down the function here, and then we'll find b. We still have to find b. To find b, we'll use this value, f0 equals to 2, correct? So our function now becomes f of x equals to a is minus 1 over 4. Now minus 1 over 4 seems to be correct value. Since we need concave down, right, we need this parabola to open downwards, we should be expecting a as negative. So that part is perfect. And then the rest of the equation is x minus 4 whole square plus b. To find b, we can use this point. It says determine a possible function f of x where f0 equals to 2, right? So we can put 0 for x and 2 for y to calculate b, right? So if we do that, so f of 0 means 2, y value. So y value is 2 here. So we'll write just 2 here. So I'm running out of space. I'm using this area. Minus 1 out of 4. And that gives me 0 minus 4 whole square plus b, right? So, this you could calculate b from here. We get 2 equals to minus 1 over 4 and 4 squared is 16. Say 4 times 4 plus b, right? So, this gets cancelled out. So, you get minus 4 here, which you take on the left side and you get 6 equals to b. So, b is 6 for you. Correct? And so, we get our final answer. And the answer for us is, you know, f of x is equals to, let me write here, final answer. So the function whose derivative is shown here should be a is minus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, x minus 4 whole square, and the value of b is 6 for us, plus 6, correct? So that is the function. So that is our answer for this given function. I hope you understand and appreciate the steps which we have taken to solve this question. Let's go through it once again. Now, if you are given a derivative of a function, you should remember one thing, that derivative is one degree lower than the function, correct? Power rule, correct? If you have a function, let us say y equals to a x to the power of n, then what is y dash? y dash is a times n times x to the power of n minus 1. Do you see that? So derivative is one degree lower than the function. So therefore, we assume that the function should be parabola. That's first thing. Second, we have a zero here. That means turning point for the function, a vertex for a parabola. So we had the term x minus 4 whole square. Right? And a and b to make it a general function. We, have, we are given f0 equals to 2. So we can plug in 0 equals to 2 and try to get relation between a and b that we could have done initially also. The second part was derivative is given. We found the equation of the line given using slope and y-intercept. And then since this is the derivative of the function, we just com compared the derivatives and found the value of a. Correct? From the point, you get the value of b. So you get your function. So these are the steps which you can always use to get back to the function from its derivative.
I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'd like you to share with it with your friends and move forward. Thank you.